Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for Week 16 in Season 4. We're going to see who's free this week and what four of those champions I'm going to recommend. Free this week, it looks like we're going to get Cassiopeia, Cho'Gath, Jinx, Leona, Lulu, Malphite, Nautilus, Orianna, Sona, and Trundle. As for my first recommendation for this week, I'm actually going to recommend Nautilus. Now, Nautilus actually received a tiny bit of a buff. It was very, very small recently in a patch and I think it's actually going to help just kind of bring him back up to where he used to be as a jungler. Um, I think right now he's in a good position to fill that role and he's a really good um, champion anyways so I don't know why people stop really playing him. He's got a great ultimate. He's got so much crowd control it's unbelievable. So I think people need to start playing him again so if you've never played Nihilus before if you want to get back into him this week might be a good time to get back into it. My next recommendation for this week is actually going to be Orianna. Now, Orianna isn't the simplest to play all the time, but if you get pretty good with her and you're good at positioning your ball while you are in lane, you can usually control it fairly well, which allows you to last hit a little bit easier, and you can kind of bowl your um, lane opponent around a little bit, depending on who it is. She also brings some decent utility to the team, too, since her orb does, or her ball works in many different ways, which is kind of cool. And um, the hidden ball delivery system that you can do on all types of champions that like to jump in and engage is always fun if you shield them with it, and then they jump in, and then you alt. It's just really fun to play all that. So if you're play with your friends. Definitely a fun champion to play. She is really good too. She does a lot of damage once you get a little bit of AP on her too. So if you're looking for maybe a new mid to try out, you might want to try Orianna. My next recommendation for this week is actually going to be Sona. Now, I don't remember if I just dreamt it or if I read something about this, but there's supposedly the rise of Sona coming back up. Um, I don't know how true this will be or if it won't be but Sona's been in a fine spot for a while now she's she's not like super overpowered like she actually used to be um they changed her numbers around a little bit and kind of evened her out she's still really good in lane she still does dish out those heals which allows you to kind of stay beefed up in lane and lane's been pretty pokey lately so I think she actually would be pretty good right now for sustain so you got to be careful because she will die kind of quick but she does also put out a handful of damage because of her passive and just because of how her kit all works together so um, if you're looking for maybe a new support to try or if you're looking to refresh yourself with some Sona might want to try her and as for my final pick for this week, it is in fact going to be Trundle, one of my favorite champions in the game. Always probably going to recommend him if you haven't played him. Um, I'm glad he actually has been finally getting a lot more um, noticed this season, and um, I think a lot of people are finally figuring out he is a really good champion. So um, whether you're going to be playing him in top lane or in the jungle, he's actually doing both fine. He is one of the few champions, too, I think you can probably still legitimately do a Feral Flare on because he never dies in the jungle, and he can usually just sit in there and farm it out if he really, really wants to. So um, Trundle's in a good spot still, really good champion. If you've never played him, I urge you to try him out. He's great. But that is, in fact, going to be... Badger's picks for a week 16. Those are your free week champions. There's other good champions, obviously, in this rotation. You can try out any of the ones in there, obviously, if you want to try out any of my recommendations. Based off of anything I would have said, that's also not a terrible idea as well. Um, if there's a box around any of these champion photos right now, it means you can click it, and it will take you to some sort of a build for them. Um, probably the most recent whatever I have for it. But that will hopefully get you guided to what you want to do if you're looking to play any of these champions. But uh, other than that, just good luck out there this week on the Fields of Justice.